Hi, this is Marty, and welcome back for another video. All right, so um, basically, uh, I've been, you know, not on vacation. I uh, just basically uh, hit on a topic uh, about, you know, a week, well, Friday, really, Thursday, Friday, and it was on C.S. Joseph and his typing thing. Uh, I was going to take a look at it, and I basically started to do some research on C.S. Joseph. If my tone is not normal and my normal demeanor, uh, it's because this content, this video, really tweaked my brain. I mean, I was answering comments. I mean, I just went off the grid. So allow me to explain. Basically, what happened was uh, I was looking into C.S. Joseph to look at the thing, you know, the, the, the typing thing that he did. I don't know. I don't know anything about him, right? I've spent like a couple hours on the MBT, MB, MBTI site, .com site, and that was basically it. So I thought, okay, well, let me go find something about C.S. Joseph. So basically what I did is, is I went in a couple of forums, right? Um, and uh, I just tried to find something, okay? So what I found was really interesting, and, and they're down below so you can read them, but this is where it started. So this whole video is based on what I'm about to show you. These, just this simple little thing here, and that's it. What I found out was that um, people, what, what they told me was, or we, what they wrote, I was reading stuff from like a year ago, basically, really what it was. All right. So uh, C.S. Joseph, in, in the way that he, uh, you know, does his typing, and, and, I th and he's a life coach, and you can pay him and all that good stuff. Um, well, his comments, or I'm sorry, his way of doing things comes from a mentor. And that mentor, his name is John Beebe. I think that's his name, Beebe. If I got it wrong, I apologize, but John Beebe. And the uh, there's also a, a, a religious interpretation. So I, I'm reading, you know, this and I'm going, why is religion involved? Like, like what? What the fuck? Oh, really? I and and I'm like, well, wait a minute. Why is there a mentor? Like, who's John B? You know, I'm like, well, I don't get. Well, I don't understand. And then and then it, then another person said, well, he's subjective and not based on MBTI statistical data. And I'm like, well, subjective is the interpretation of C.S. Joseph. So he's going to type someone. It's going to be subjective based on what he thinks and feels, and not based on MBTI. And so the, the person who was commenting, and there were two people that commented, I think, or there was two different things, you know, said, well, he doesn't go off of MBTI, but, but, but he does though. He does type MBTI. And I, and I got really confused. And then within the same comment on the religious interpretation, it said, you know, God equals function design, or basically the function design, the function design is designed by God. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait a minute. How did God, how, how did we get into religion here? So I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. If C.S. Joseph has a mentor, and that mentor is John Beebe, and it's subjective, and now has a religious interpretation that includes God, and the, and the education and or theory that God made the MBTI functions and or that's what he's saying based on his mentor John B, which is subjective and not statistical. Well, I don't understand. Wait, wait, wait. I thought MBTI was designed by two women. And then Carl Jung. Well, well who's John Beebe? And how is there a religious interpretation? And why is C.S. Joseph choosing a subjective way of typing MBTI? And why is he listening to John Beebe? Why isn't he a part of MBTI? Well, I'm, in this video, I'm going to tell you what I did in basically one hour. And I'll just be honest. It fucked me up. It did. Bad. Really, really bad. So let's get into it. But first, and I know you're watching. I know you are. Jane361. Okay. So really interesting. What happened was, and, and, and this Jane361 is a viewer that commented me. And I'll read the one comment. She commented four times to me. But I'll read the one comment. But she is not a part of this. Jane361 
you are so unlucky. <laughs> you are so unlucky. She just happened to comment and say what she said to me the day I started this. The day, and, and I mean, Jane, you're, you're Jane 361, your timing could not have been worse. You're so unlucky. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to read the comment, and then I'm going to get right into it. So I'm going to read the comment, turn it off, and I'm going to write on the board, put everything up, and I'm going to tell you what's going on. All right. So Jane's first comment, just first right out of the gate. No IQ, no friendly, just to be honest, literally, nobody cares whether you do it or not. She's referring to me in the videos and asking everybody, should I do this or not? Very, very ego and arrogant of me. But after this video, I don't think you're going to think it was arrogance. I was just being honest. She continues, so why are you asking for people's approval? Why not just try doing it so that when it comes out great, you're remembered for it? With all due respect, you sound like a wrestler who's all foreplay talk, but has nothing to show for it. Just just do it, bro, and let's see what you've got. Jane, I promise you that this would feel much better than what I'm going to do to you in this video. Shut your fucking mouth. What? Welcome back. So I wrote up some stuff on the board. All right, I want to go over all of this. Uh, basically, uh, the the picture that you had in the other, like that what I had up here before, uh, that spawned all of this. And this is probably I don't know hours worth of study. The reason I tell you the time is just because, um, well, for this right here. You know, sometimes I say I'm sorry before I'm, out, I'm about to do something because I really am, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry that I need to do it, but I have to do it, but I'm not really sorry, but I'm sorry. I, I don't know. All right. So you'll get this. All right. Um, Jorge, buddy, 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 you sent me. trying to teach me on MBTI, all caps, I told you dot, 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 that we have four sides of the mind and that there's inverse theory. You ever bring this fucking shit to me again, Jorge, we are done. I have lost all respect for you, I have none. And I don't give a fuck whether you ever comment again. But because I respect your passion and I respect your energy, I would love it if you would continue to comment. But if you are attached in any way and or just a follower, you will not get one warning. You bring up four sides of the mind or anything attached to that, to my comment, and I will delete every comment and ban you from my channel. It's up to you whether or not you want to earn my respect. 
you should have done your homework. And maybe you did, but you are fucking wrong. Do not ever talk to me about four sides of the mind again. And I'm being kind, Jorge. What I want to do right now, because I assumed you did, what I really want to do is just ban you and delete all your fucking bullshit. But I really, I, I really enjoy your passion. Okay? So, choice is on you. You want to earn my respect back? If you care enough, I'm nobody. I'm nobody. But choice is on you. I'm done. Choice is on you. Balls in your court. Okay? All right. So let's begin. And, and if I have to stop and, and read from here, I will, because I put all my notes and stuff in there, and, and that's where it all came from. Okay. All right. Um, all right, let's go. Okay. So we have a timeline here. Uh, we have um, information on John Beebe here, uh, information on MBTI as it equates to forward sides of the mind here, uh, primary and uh, second, third, and fourth use specific uh, sides of the mind as it relates to John Beebe's four sides of the mind. We have uh, Martin, um, uh, what is it? What is it again? Hold on, where is he? He's Martin uh, Buber. Buber, I think is his name. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, Martin Buber here, and then we have uh, Freud, and uh, yeah, and then we have um, uh, Catherine, and we have, um, where is it? Oh, and the daughter. Where is daughter? Catherine and, oh, Isabel, right there. Daughter right there. Okay, so let's get started. Top and come down. Okay, uh, well, basically what I'm going to show you is why MBTI got pushed to the side, how it's being pushed to the side why it's being pushed to the side, and what happened with Carl Jung. It is all an absolute tragedy. Okay, so let's begin. C.S. Joseph, if you go to the C.G. Jung uh, website, you are going to see that. I find it very interesting, C.S. Joseph, that subliminally, your name is the same. Just an observation, if you didn't know that, well, there it is. Because if you go to the website for CGI, it's the same. Very weird, okay? Um, I also find it odd, well, not really odd, but MBTI doesn't equal four sides of the mind. Four sides of the mind is the brainchild by John Beebe. Who is John Beebe? John Beebe is a Harvard graduate, also a graduate from the University of Chicago Medical School, so he's a medical doctor. I didn't bother, I didn't want to take the time to know where he is a psychologist or a psychiatrist. Um, I'm assuming it's Harvard. Now, I also find it very interesting that the most prestigious one of on the planet Earth, Harvard, John Beebe is a life fellow for the American Psych Psychiatric Association. He's a life member. He's also past president of the C.G. Young Institute in San Francisco, and he still lectures there till this day. John Beebe is also the one that came up with the theory, Jungian Young, young, Jungian complex theory, four sides of the mind. Complex. Jungian complex theory. Interesting. We used to have in the academics post-traumatic stress disorder. Well, that label wasn't good enough. So in their infinite wisdom, they said, let's add the C. What does the C in post-traumatic stress disorder stand for? Complex. Huh. <laughs> Jungian complex theory, four sides of the mind, is used in training programs, written, authored, by two gentlemen, Thomas Kirsch and Joe Cam Cambray. And the title of that book is What 
Freudians can learn from Jung. Now I'll get into the timeline and all this. I'm just getting started. Okay, be quick, but you know. If you look at the title of the book, what Freudians, what Freudians, those who study Freud theory, can learn from the outsider, Jung, and apply to Freud. What John Beeb basically has done is taken Carl or Jungian theory of personal typing and wait for it and moved it into modern psychology with a very awesome twist. It's awesome. When you connect this together, remember, I'll, I'll show you exactly what, what happened and what I was looking for. Well I'll, well, I'll tell you now, okay? When I went on Reddit and I went online looking for C.S. Joseph and why is religion and why, what's with this four sides of the mind and why mentor? I don't understand. If you go to the NVTI website, you can get trained and, and they train you and you don't have to go to college and, oh, you don't have to go to college. Outside the academic, they don't like that. They don't like that. But where's the connection and, and why? I don't, what, what, you got to dig deep. You got to find the rabbit holes. Oh, and by the way, by the way, I'm just saying, there's a rabbit hole that I'm not going to show you. Now, remember on all this, I'm just shining the light on the rabbit hole, right? Like, look, there's a rabbit hole. You see it there? All right? So that, okay. I'm just on the surface, right? There is a rabbit hole here that is no longer a rabbit hole. I won't even shine my light on it. Because what lives in that hole, it does not look like a rabbit, smell like a rabbit, walk, hop. I'm scared of what's in that rabbit hole. Okay, back on point. Gotcha. Okay. I'm not going to show it to you. I I'm not even going to shine the light on it. But it's that scary of a rabbit hole. It's, it's, it's like down here. I'm, it's like over here. I'm not kidding. It's like, it's like over there. Okay. But there's always rabbit holes over here. These are all like plenty to entertain you, but not this one. You can't have that one. No. Okay. All right. <laughs> when I was looking at Reddit, I, I was like, what? What philosophy did Carl Jung have with regards to religion? How do I connect C.S. Joseph to John Beebe to Carl Jung to Freud to Martin Buber? and religion and figure the dots or connect the dots between that, all that, and MBTI being dismissed, not being used in academic study, having being pissed on by all the academics that it's blah, 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 and it's this, and there's no, there's no acad, ac, ac, academic to it. Is that the right word? There's no, it's just shit. That is what I'm looking for. Or hey, should have done your work, buddy. Should have done your fucking work. I found it, and I'm going to give it to you in this video. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Okay, timeline. We gotta talk about the timeline. Okay, so um, I hate talking behind this, but I got it because I can't see it. Okay, so go over this real quick. Oh, and by the way, everything happens between, everyone's born on 1875 and everyone dies at the same time. It's incredible, not really, but rest of their souls. Okay, 
So 1875, Catherine Briggs' mom, uh, Carl uh, Young, and Martin Buber are born. Okay. Uh, 1890, I'm going to go through all of them, right? So 1875, they were born. 1890, uh, Isabel uh, um, uh, is, is born. Okay. And uh, in 1900, wait for it, in 1900, Martin Buber, right? I'll, I'll bring it all together. Okay. Martin Buber uh, became the editor for the Die, D, D, or Die, D, D, D Welt. Okay. D Welt was a, um, uh, it was in, I think it was in Germany. It was a newspaper. He's a Zionist. See, it, uh, and, and I'm going really, <laughs> you want, I got to go there real quick. I gotta, so let's take him back. Okay. Um, for, uh, to, uh, to promote the Israeli religion. Okay. All right. That's what he was. Okay. But he later left, but that's what he did in 1902. I think it was. Okay. Um, in, uh, in 1920 uh, and 23, um, the, the mother-daughter, they found Carl Jung's work in 1923. That's when they found it. Okay, so that's what that is. All right, so in 1930, Carl Jung met um, Martin uh, Buber at a, uh, a conference of some sort. Okay, okay. Uh, in 1940, uh, Freud died. Uh, in 1950, um, uh, C.G. And uh, Carl Jung and uh, and Martin were talking about a paper that was written, Religion and Modern Thinking. Okay, all right. Um, 1960, uh, Carl Jung died. Um, in 1960s, these are give or take a few years, right? Martin died, and then in 1970, Consulting Psychologist Press, uh, 1975, I think it was 1970. Yeah, 1975, I think. MBTI started to be produced by a company called Consulting Psychologist Press. And in 2002, they changed their name and branding to uh, CPP Incorporated. Good move. Good move, CEO. That was a good move. Okay. And, okay. Talk about it later. Okay. And then, uh, and that was in 2002. Okay. So that's the timeline. Okay. And I, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but I, I'll jump to it and show you how this all connects. All right. So, what was it that pissed everybody off? In 1960, Carl Jung on Martin Buber. Okay? Yes. Okay. Buber and I started from an entirely different basis. I make no trans transcended dental statements. I am essentially empirical as I have stated more than once. This is where it gets really good. I am dealing with psychic phenomena and not with meta metaphysical assertions. Within the frame of psychic events, I find the fact of the belief of belief in God, it says, this freaking guy, God is. Okay, I'm not going to continue reading because I'm just going to tell you what Carl Jung believed. I am sorry if I, and this is Carl Jung talking to Martin Buber. I am sorry if I bore you with my common places, but you asked for it. You can find them in most of my books beginning with the year 1912, almost a half a century ago and not yet noticed by authorities like Buber. I've spent a lifetime of work on psychology and psychopathological investigations. Buber criticizes me in a field in which he is incompetent, in which he does not even understand. Sincerely yours, C.G. Young. What was it that Carl Jung believed as it relates to God? If, if you removed all of the human beings on planet Earth, would God exist? He basically put his entire theory on the existence. I'm incredible. I mean, it's incredible. He basically put his entire theory on God on the freaking tree that falls in the woods if no one is there to hear it. Did it make a sound? Are you kidding me? And, he did. <laughs> and Carl Young, I mean, he, he, 
He did it in public. <laughs> like, what did he think was going to happen to him? He did it in public. So basically, Martin Buber comes back and says, you have no faith. None. Because Carl Jung basically said, look, when I die, my brain is no longer working. Therefore, it's no longer saying, God, help me pray. You're dead. You can't. So Carl Jung's entire philosophy, <laughs> basically, as it relates to theology, was, it's in your mind. And what is it? I can't believe I can't believe he did. I, I, I can't believe it. Basically, what he said is God doesn't exist. That's basically it. That's where all of this starts. I'm just getting started. <laughs> okay. All right. So now I need to read the letter from Freud. Okay, because 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 um Martin died in 1900. So. Uh, Carl Jung then hooks up with Freud. They spent like three months together. And I guess the theory goes, Freud went to like Switzerland or something like that and went to see a friend and he didn't, he didn't go see uh, Carl. And then Carl said, F you, buddy. And that was the end of it. But Freud sent a letter, and this word gets good, sent a letter to Carl Jung. Let me get it. Hold on. Let me go get it. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Where is it? Certainly. Okay. All right. Uh, the two spent almost about three months together touring America, uh, which represented the most intimate point in their friendship. However, the close contact and exhausting conversations exposed certain ideological differences that would ultimately tear their friendship apart. You think? Freud writes a final letter, and this is what he says. The final Letter written from Sigmund Freud to Carl Jung read, Your allegations that I treat my followers as patients, I, it's incredible he used this word, is demonstrably untrue. Okay. If you don't understand the significance of that, allow me to give you my opinion. All right. In the academic world, you're their patient. You are defective. I am treating you. You need me. I don't need you. You are paying me. I'm the authority. You are not. I, you, down. That wasn't the philosophy of Carl Jung. Freud used the word demonstrably for a reason. The word demon is in it. Demon equals devil equals hell equals heaven and hell. I'll connect all the time. It's incredible. <laughs> it really is. Your allegations that I treat my followers as patients is demonstrably untrue. It is a, conven a convention um, uh, among us analysts that none of us need feel ashamed of his own neurosis, but one meaning young, who while beh behaving abnormally keeps shouting that he is normal, gives ground for the suspicion that he lacks insight into his illness. Accordingly, I propose that we abandon our personal relations entirely in 1912. I'm not sure. Okay. All right. Okay. Do you, do you remember that rabbit hole I was talking about? That's not a rabbit hole anymore. It, it's over here. You know, it, it's fucking scary. I'm telling you. Okay. It, it, okay. What? Okay. 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 I can't talk about it. <laughs> I want to, I really, I, I want to, but I can't. What happened? around 1930, going into four, what happened 
in that time frame. 20s, 30s, uh, exactly. Are you thinking the same thing I am? Okay. The point I'm trying to make is this. <laughs> oh my, here, I don't need this anymore, you read it. Martin Buber claims against Carl Jung. Carl Jung has strayed outside his expertise in theology by asserting that God does not exist independent of human psyche. <laughs> he writes, his theories mystically defying the instincts instead of hallowing them in faith equals modern manifestation of gnosis, genosis. Basically, if you, and I did, I'm not going to bore you with it. Um, basically, what Martin Buber is saying is that Carl Jung doesn't believe God exists. And that Martin Buber is saying to the world that Carl Jung, uh, Carl Jung believes that God, Jewish, Christianity, whatever, only exists inside the mind. And if the mind stops thinking, therefore God does not exist. And Martin Buber told Carl Jung, have some faith. And Carl Jung said, <laughs> he did. That's exactly what he did. Continuing on with MBTI, the two women, and Carl Jung, and bringing this all full circle, okay? The goal of MBTI is type not trait, uh, own self is best judge, no right or wrong, voluntary, confidential, and not for selection. I'm not really sure what the not for selection. Oh, oh, I think we, oh, um, yeah, not for selection. Oh, yeah, because um, statistically, there are 2 million people a year that get, that get MBTI tested, right? Um, and so through statistical analysis, it's not for you to select. It's for you to try on for size. So those two women spent their entire life. The daughter, once her mother died, spent the last half of her life. These two women spent 20 years typing, taking Carl Jung's work, making it easier to understand so the layman could use it, and that's what MBTI is today. No shaming, no blaming, try it on for size, look in the mirror, love yourself, pick your type, Try it on, see if it works. If it doesn't work, maybe you'll shift. Which brings up my next point. Who, what's with the X? What's with the uh, ISXJ or INF or INXP? Okay. What is happening is <laughs> Oh my god. The four sides of the mind basically say that you have one primary look and then when necessary you have three others. CS Joseph, John Beeb has infiltrated the um uh uh, the, uh, the, 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 C, the C.G. Young Institute in San Francisco as a past president and current lecturer, and he is bringing God and religion, okay, uh, to MBTI. C.S. Joseph uh, is a traitor of MBTI completely, completely. 
They picked a man who graduated from the most prestigious universities on the planet. He's an MD psychiatrist, preaching and lecturing and infiltrating and turning <laughs> all of Carl Jung's work upside down because it puts the power of self-diagnosis and self-healing in the hands of the person. <laughs> you are a fucking traitor. Oh my God, you are such a piece of shit. Look, I'm not going to call him one. I'm not going to call John B. I I'm not. I'm not. You just have absolutely no honor. I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I mean, could you have done all of this? Could you have brought Carl Jung and his work without doing religion? I mean, think about this for a second. Think about this. And I'm going to do this on, in another thing. So this is kind of a preempt to another video, right? Um, does an atomic bomb make a sound? You say yes. Well, I know why you say yes. Because you say bomb equals loud noise. But you've never heard one. I've never heard one. So if you say yes, I'm going to say, how do you know? Because you have faith in your wisdom and in your experience that when you see the word bomb, it means loud explosion. But what if I said, well, it's not called that. It's called bomb. It's called atomic tranquility. It's no longer called atomic bomb. It's now called atomic tranquility or atomic make no noise. <laughs> noiseless. Noiseless atomic. Noiseless atomic. That's what it is. Atomic noiseless. Does it make a sound? Do you know what it sounds like when atoms split? Not a clue. But bomb equals loud noise because you have seen it and heard it. Basically, Carl Jung's entire theory on religion was, I don't care. Have your faith. Do whatever you want. It's okay. It's okay. But when it comes to how the human mind works, it's not okay. Because theories about the human mind have to be substantiated. And Martin Buber told Carl Jung, you have to have faith. And Carl Jung said, I, I do. I believe in uh, Buddhism, Hindu. He believed in all of that and studied all of it. He was extremely, um, as far as I can tell, extremely knowledgeable, okay? I mean, about religion and faith. All he had a problem with was God is. And he just took it one step further and said, sorry. God is because everyone on planet Earth says he is. Carl Jung didn't believe that. Not as it relates to clinical psychology, psychological theory. Well, <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, yeah, you, 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 you can't say that out loud. <laughs> you just can't. You just can't. And he did. Um, <laughs> everything that C.S. Joseph talks about and preaches comes from a religious foundation because his mentor is John Beeb. If you study C.S. Joseph, you are a traitor and shitting all over the life's work of Carl Jung and a mother-daughter.
daughter team who dedicated their lives to bringing Carl Jung's life's work to you through MBTI. If you put an X in your MBTI type, you are shitting all over Carl Jung and those two women. If you, wait for it, add a T or an A, you are shitting all over Carl Jung and those two women. Let's just say they lived a hundred years. Let's just say. You are disrespecting 300 years of work. <laughs> oh my. Less than one hour's worth of work. And all I was doing, and I kid you not, was what was it about CS equals John Beeb equals religion changes and tie that to C. G. Young. There it is. <laughs> Did I miss anything? Is there anything else? All the links to everything I looked at are in the footer thing underneath the, uh, you know, the video down there. And you can study it all if you want. But I'll leave you with this last thing. Do you remember the rabbit hole I talked about that was over here? It's not a rabbit hole. And it's fucking scary. Once, if you decide and you start to see where you are going, Stop. Stop. Okay? I, I already know all about it. I mean, I knew it before this. Okay? Remember, I study history. I knew all about it before. Stop. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. Well, this is a huge topic. Uh, I hope I covered it. I hope I didn't do this too much. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is Marty, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, um, Jane, Jane, 361, you should go brush your teeth now.